Gabriel in this one. You can see a real smoothness to his image. So like the shadows are quite faded. Whites and highlights are quite faded. It's largely to do with the curves. So we have the raw image they sent us. This one here. And we're trying to recreate this gritty but very smooth edit. So very smooth. Maybe like the texture is a bit different. These whites of the water are really flat. Blacks over here that are very lifted. Really smooth. This image here is a really good example of how smooth as images go we're using one of his presets for this tutorial so so here's his presets here we you can get 10 high quality desktop and mobile presets for lightroom a few different packs for you guys so i'll be linking these up if you guys want that really smooth look to your images but have quite a bit of grip to the images as well so i'll be linking to these down in the description come check them out and let's get into this tutorial all right all right so we're recreating this edit here and we have the raw original image so let's drop the temperature and white balance it a little pretty white balanced and exposed pretty well uh, out of the camera but what we will do is bring down the contrast and turn on the curves so these curves are from his presets his presets have a bunch of different curves really slow fade especially to the shadows there so let's bring down the contrast and then as you can see they add in some contrast in the color channels so highlights just kind of i'm just looking at the brighter areas we want to see way more detail in those shadows blacks for sure you can see way much we want this flatness throughout the image so whites down okay so what we're gonna do we want this gritty look to the image but also a, a soft glow so soft glow this way and then the grit with this one works well with this type of image jump down to profile corrections okay and while we're here drop sharpening so we have plenty of texture all right so hs alex get the right tone so we want we've got this kind of a red tone we want more of a brown tone or orange tone yellows get more of a brown rather than this reddish tone so there's a few reds in there as well let's go a little to the right slight teal to our blues slight not many purples in there bring out the yellows possibly bring up the yellows down the oranges no. what i'll do is jump to the filters now because i think they play a pretty big role in the exposure of the image okay so we've got this one down the bottom and what i'm going to do is just drop the exposure so this will frame our subject a lot better and then we want one up above and this will help so we're going to do the opposite just because it will really see how that creates like a shine down on top of the car i think that looks nice and then make it nice and soft with dehaze cool then we just need to work with some hsl maybe a little more blues i kind of like i like blues down i like the look of the blues down but i think i might go with to match up with his so just put a punch to the yellows so luminance the brightness of colors let's up the luminance and then the shine of the blues looks really good too so we'll bring that up okay so while editing this video i realized i just want to darken the image a little bit and add a bit of a vignette and then bring the vignette in a bit feather it out and i'll just do the brush here dehaze just to so you can see more of it brings back some color as well a bit of brightness cool go give him a follow down in the description check out his presets they're linked down there as well and then if you have any confusion about the curves or color check out the free training and check out the course that way you can start to build your own style because you have a really good under understanding of the color and curves how colors balance how you can actually do what i do and, and how you can start to build your own style because you'll actually understand color and actually understand the reason behind curve adjustments and what impact that will have on your style and slowly create your own consistent feed with your own style by going through the free training learning color learning curves the fundamentals for sure so yeah that's all there's a facebook group it's a community of people editing photos getting feedback from one another 